William Cavendish 1756-1757 William Cavendish, 4th Duke of Devonshire, 1720-1764, was a prominent British aristocrat and politician who played a significant role in the political landscape of 18th century England. Born into the illustrious Cavendish family, renowned for its influence in British politics and society, William Cavendish inherited the title of Duke of Devonshire in 1755, following the passing of his father, William Cavendish, 3rd Duke of Devonshire. His family's prestigious lineage and considerable wealth bestowed upon him a position of great privilege and responsibility within British society. Known for his astute political acumen and deep commitment to public service, the 4th Duke of Devonshire became a pivotal figure during a crucial period of political and social upheaval in Britain. The years 1756 to 1757 were marked by a complex web of political, social, and economic challenges in Britain and across Europe. England was embroiled in the Seven Years' War, 1756 to 1763, a conflict that engulfed major European powers and their colonies, leading to significant geopolitical shifts and power struggles. The war placed immense strains on the British economy, demanding substantial resources and manpower to sustain military campaigns both at home and abroad. Furthermore, the nation grappled with internal political strife, with factions vying for control and influence within the British government. Amidst these turbulent times, the role of influential figures such as William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, was pivotal in shaping the trajectory of British politics and governance, both domestically and internationally. His actions and decisions during this period would significantly impact the course of the war, as well as the broader socio-political landscape of 18th century Britain. The Cavendish family, one of the most esteemed and influential aristocratic families in England, had a rich history deeply intertwined with British politics and society. Originating from the 16th century, the family rose to prominence through various notable figures, including the renowned William Cavendish, 1st Duke of Devonshire, who played a significant role in the political landscape during the reign of King Charles II. Known for their substantial land holdings and wealth, the Cavendish family had established themselves as key players in British politics, often wielding considerable influence in parliamentary affairs and the royal court. Their legacy of public service, cultural patronage, and political astuteness set the stage for William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, to continue the family's tradition of leadership and statesmanship during the tumultuous 18th century. William Cavendish, born on December 8, 1720, was raised in an environment steeped in political intrigue and intellectual pursuit. His early education was overseen by private tutors, ensuring he received a comprehensive education in classical languages, literature, and the arts, as well as in the principles of governance and statecraft. His formative years were marked by exposure to prominent political figures and influential thinkers of the time, shaping his worldview and nurturing his interest in public affairs. Instilled with a sense of duty and responsibility from an early age, young William Cavendish exhibited a keen intellect and a natural aptitude for diplomacy, qualities that would later define his political career and contributions to British society. The 18th century was characterized by a complex interplay of political rivalries, social upheavals, and intellectual ferment across Europe. In Britain, the political climate was defined by a delicate balance of power between the monarchy, the aristocracy, and an emerging middle class. The period witnessed the ascendancy of the Whig and Tory factions, each vying for control and influence within the British government. Simultaneously, the Age of Enlightenment spurred intellectual and cultural advancements, fostering a climate of scientific inquiry, philosophical discourse, and artistic innovation. However, societal disparities and economic challenges persisted, contributing to occasional social unrest and discontent among the populace. Against this backdrop, William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, navigated the intricacies of political maneuvering and social dynamics, leveraging his family's influence and his own acumen to leave an indelible mark on the political and cultural landscape of 18th century Britain. William Cavendish, from an early age, demonstrated a keen interest in politics and governance, which paved the way for his notable political career. His entry into public life began with his appointment as a Lord of the Bedchamber to King George II in 1748, providing him with a close vantage point to observe the workings of the royal court and the dynamics of power within the British monarchy. 
This early role enabled him to establish crucial connections and cultivate relationships with influential political figures, laying the foundation for his subsequent rise within the political hierarchy. His dedication to public service and his aptitude for diplomacy swiftly propelled him into more significant positions of authority and influence, marking the commencement of a distinguished political journey that would define his legacy in British history. During the critical years of 1756 to 1757, William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, was known for his strong affiliations with the Whig Party, a political faction that advocated for constitutional monarchy, parliamentary supremacy, and the protection of individual liberties. His close association with influential Whig statesmen and intellectuals, such as the celebrated writer and statesman Edmund Burke, solidified his position as a leading figure within the Whig political circles. Furthermore, his strategic alliances with key political allies both within and outside the Whig party enabled him to exert considerable influence over important policy decisions and governmental affairs, particularly with regards to matters concerning the ongoing Seven Years' War and domestic governance. William Cavendish, renowned for his statesmanship and commitment to political reform, made several notable contributions to the advancement of governance and policy during the years 1756 to 1757. Recognized for his staunch advocacy of constitutional principles and his dedication to upholding the rights of the people, he actively participated in debates and legislative measures aimed at ensuring a fair and just system of governance. His proposals for economic reforms, including measures to stabilize the national economy amidst the strains of war, were instrumental in mitigating the adverse effects of the conflict on the British populace. Additionally, his efforts to promote social welfare programs and initiatives aimed at improving the living conditions of the underprivileged segments of society reflected his deep concern for the well-being of his fellow citizens. By championing political reforms that fostered social equity and economic stability, William Cavendish left an enduring legacy as a progressive and visionary leader committed to the betterment of the nation and its people. William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, was not only esteemed for his political acumen but also revered for his significant contributions to the enrichment of arts and culture in 18th century Britain. Known for his deep appreciation of the arts, he played a pivotal role in fostering a vibrant cultural milieu, providing crucial patronage and support to various artists, architects, and cultural luminaries of the time. His keen interest in architecture led to the transformation and beautification of his ancestral home, Chatsworth House, into a grand estate that showcased the finest examples of contemporary architectural design and craftsmanship. Moreover, his passion for collecting art and antiquities not only enriched his personal collection but also contributed to the promotion and preservation of British cultural heritage, leaving an indelible mark on the artistic legacy of the era. As a prominent patron of the arts and a fervent supporter of intellectual pursuits, William Cavendish played a significant role in nurturing the talents of numerous artists, writers, and intellectuals of his time. His patronage extended to renowned figures such as the celebrated landscape designer Lancelot Capability, Brown, whose innovative approach to landscape gardening transformed the grounds of Chatsworth House into a breathtaking masterpiece of natural beauty and design. Additionally, his support for eminent writers and thinkers, including the likes of Samuel Johnson and David Hume, provided a conducive environment for intellectual exchange and cultural enrichment, fostering an atmosphere of creativity and innovation that reverberated throughout the British intellectual landscape. Through his unwavering encouragement and financial backing, William Cavendish contributed to the flourishing of artistic and intellectual endeavors, leaving an enduring legacy of cultural patronage and support. William Cavendish's commitment to social causes and philanthropy underscored his deep sense of social responsibility and compassion for the less privileged members of society. His active involvement in various charitable endeavors and philanthropic initiatives aimed at alleviating the plight of the impoverished and disadvantaged segments of the population exemplified his genuine concern for the welfare of his fellow countrymen. His contributions to the establishment of educational institutions and charitable organizations, dedicated to providing essential support and resources to the marginalized communities, reflected his steadfast dedication to promoting social welfare and fostering a more equitable society. By actively engaging in philanthropic pursuits and championing social causes, William Cavendish epitomized the ideals of compassion and benevolence, 
leaving a lasting impact on the social fabric of 18th century Britain and inspiring a tradition of philanthropy that continues to resonate in contemporary charitable endeavors. William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, led a private life characterized by familial bonds and personal relationships that shaped his identity beyond the political sphere. His marriage to Lady Charlotte Boyle, daughter of the third Earl of Burlington, not only solidified his social standing but also cemented crucial alliances within the aristocratic circles. The couple's deep devotion to each other and their shared passion for the arts and culture fostered a nurturing environment within the family, fostering a legacy of cultural patronage and intellectual pursuit that extended to their descendants. The Cavendish household, known for its refined taste and appreciation for the finer aspects of life, became a hub of intellectual exchange and artistic creativity, reflecting the Duke's commitment to cultivating a rich and vibrant domestic life centered around familial harmony and cultural enrichment. Beyond his political and familial responsibilities, William Cavendish harbored a diverse range of hobbies and interests that provided an escape from the rigors of public life. His love for nature and landscape design prompted his active involvement in the meticulous cultivation and enhancement of the extensive gardens and parklands surrounding Chatsworth House, where he often found solace and inspiration amidst the tranquility of the natural landscape. Additionally, his passion for literature and the arts fueled his avid interest in collecting rare manuscripts, fine art, and antiquities, culminating in an extensive personal collection that attested to his discerning taste and intellectual curiosity. Furthermore, his affinity for equestrian pursuits and sporting activities reflected his penchant for leisurely pursuits and outdoor recreation, serving as a testament to his well-rounded and multifaceted personality beyond the realms of politics and governance. The years 1756 to 1757 marked a period of personal challenges and transformative experiences for William Cavendish, as he grappled with the complexities of balancing his public obligations with the demands of his personal life. During this time, the Duke faced the profound loss of several close family members, whose passing deeply impacted him and the dynamics of the Cavendish household. These personal tragedies, although emotionally taxing, served as a catalyst for strengthening familial bonds and fostering a greater sense of resilience and unity within the family. Additionally, the Duke's unwavering commitment to preserving the legacy of his predecessors and maintaining the prestige of the Cavendish name instilled a sense of purpose and determination that guided his actions both in the public and private spheres, underscoring his steadfast dedication to upholding the honor and integrity of his familial heritage. The years 1756 to 1757 presented a series of formidable challenges for William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, both on the political stage and within his personal sphere. One of the primary challenges stemmed from the ongoing Seven Years' War, which placed significant strain on the British economy and demanded a substantial allocation of resources and manpower. Navigating the intricate dynamics of wartime governance and resource management posed a significant challenge for the Duke, requiring him to make crucial decisions that balanced the nation's military requirements with the welfare of its citizens. Furthermore, the Duke grappled with personal tragedies and familial losses during this period, testing his emotional resilience and resolve as he sought to maintain a sense of stability and unity within the Cavendish family amidst times of distress and sorrow. William Cavendish exhibited remarkable resilience and strategic acumen in managing the challenges that confronted him during the tumultuous years of 1756 to 1757. His adept handling of the economic strains brought about by the war involved implementing prudent fiscal policies and resource management strategies that aimed to minimize the adverse impact on the British populace. Through his nuanced approach to governance and his ability to forge consensus among political factions, the Duke fostered a sense of unity and cooperation that was crucial in steering the nation through the challenges posed by the protracted conflict. Additionally, his emphasis on fostering a supportive and nurturing environment within the Cavendish household served as a cornerstone for maintaining familial solidarity and emotional well-being, enabling him to navigate personal adversities with grace and fortitude. Despite the formidable challenges that defined the years 1756 to 1757, William Cavendish achieved several significant milestones that underscored his leadership and statesmanship. His instrumental role in brokering diplomatic negotiations and securing crucial alliances with European powers during the Seven Years' War demonstrated his diplomatic prowess and his capacity to navigate complex geopolitical dynamics. Furthermore, 
His contributions to the formulation of key economic policies aimed at bolstering the national economy amidst the strains of war laid the groundwork for sustainable financial stability and recovery. Moreover, his unwavering commitment to upholding the values of social justice and equality was reflected in his advocacy for policies that aimed to alleviate the hardships faced by the marginalized segments of society, thereby fostering a more inclusive and equitable social framework. Through these notable achievements, William Cavendish solidified his legacy as a visionary leader who deftly steered the nation through turbulent times, leaving an indelible mark on the political and social landscape of 18th century Britain. William Cavendish's legacy resonates across multiple facets of British history, leaving an indelible mark on the realms of politics, society, and culture. His astute political leadership and unwavering commitment to constitutional principles paved the way for the preservation of democratic values and the reinforcement of parliamentary governance in Britain. His contributions to the arts and culture fostered a rich cultural milieu that continues to shape the artistic landscape of contemporary Britain. Moreover, his philanthropic endeavors and advocacy for social welfare initiatives established a precedent for compassionate governance and social equity that remains relevant in modern societal discourse. By embodying the ideals of progressive statesmanship, cultural patronage, and social responsibility, William Cavendish solidified his place as a transformative figure whose multifaceted contributions continue to resonate in the fabric of British heritage and identity. The pivotal actions undertaken by William Cavendish during the critical years of 1756 to 1757 played a definitive role in shaping his enduring legacy as a visionary leader and a stalwart defender of British interests. His adept management of the challenges posed by the Seven Years' War and his strategic navigation of the intricate political landscape underscored his capacity for pragmatic governance and effective leadership in times of crisis. His advocacy for economic stability and social welfare initiatives during this period laid the groundwork for a more resilient and inclusive society, reflecting his unwavering commitment to the well-being of the nation and its citizens. Furthermore, his diplomatic endeavors and strategic alliances fostered a legacy of international cooperation and diplomatic finesse that contributed to Britain's prominence on the global stage. Through these pivotal actions, William Cavendish cemented his legacy as a transformative leader whose contributions continue to reverberate in the annals of British history. In comparison to other prominent figures of the 18th century, such as Prime Minister William Pitt the Elder and statesman Charles James Fox, William Cavendish's influence was characterized by a nuanced blend of political acumen, cultural patronage, and social responsibility. While Pitt the Elder was known for his bold political reforms and his assertive foreign policy initiatives, and Fox was recognized for his eloquence and advocacy for political liberties, William Cavendish distinguished himself through his holistic approach to governance that encompassed not only political astuteness but also cultural enrichment and social welfare advocacy. His legacy as a multifaceted leader and a champion of democratic values and cultural advancement places him in the pantheon of influential figures whose collective contributions shaped the trajectory of 18th century Britain, leaving a profound and enduring impact on the nation's political, social, and cultural identity. Throughout the pivotal years of 1756 to 1757, William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, emerged as a transformative leader whose multifaceted contributions left an indelible mark on the political, social, and cultural landscape of 18th century Britain. His adept handling of the challenges posed by the Seven Years' War, his advocacy for economic stability and social welfare, and his strategic diplomatic endeavors solidified his legacy as a visionary statesman committed to the betterment of the nation and its people. Additionally, his significant contributions to the arts and culture, coupled with his philanthropic pursuits, reflected his enduring dedication to fostering a more inclusive and enlightened society. William Cavendish's enduring legacy continues to resonate in contemporary times, serving as a beacon of inspiration for leaders and citizens alike. His unwavering commitment to democratic values, social welfare, and cultural enrichment remains relevant in the context of modern governance and societal discourse. His emphasis on the preservation of constitutional principles and the promotion of social equity underscores the enduring relevance of his ideals in the pursuit of a more just and equitable society. Moreover, his advocacy for international cooperation and diplomatic finesse provides a timeless model for fostering global harmony and collaboration in an increasingly interconnected world. 
William Cavendish's historical significance transcends the boundaries of his era, embodying the timeless values of leadership, compassion, and cultural patronage that continue to shape the fabric of contemporary society. His legacy as a transformative leader and a champion of democratic ideals serves as a testament to the enduring power of visionary statesmanship and the profound impact of dedicated public service. In an age marked by complex geopolitical dynamics and social challenges, his legacy serves as a reminder of the enduring importance of fostering unity, compassion, and intellectual enrichment in the pursuit of a more enlightened and equitable world. As a symbol of enlightened leadership and progressive governance, William Cavendish's historical significance remains ever relevant, inspiring current and future generations to uphold the values of integrity, compassion, and social responsibility in the pursuit of a more just and prosperous global community. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.